Hello friends, how is it going? I know everyone is spending a lot more of time at home with the loved ones and getting to know a lot more of what is it meaning to be working from home. It's not just working from home, not moving out of home, just sitting and then spending to do your time working everything at home as well as uh, spending a lot more time with the family members because everybody is at home. This is a very, very different and beautiful time to be in and uh, we should embrace this time given, putting aside all the negativities, putting aside all the fears and uh, just, just focus on what's now and what's given and enjoy that. Enjoy the current moment and plan for what's going to come as a separate activity. Right. Having said that, I was thinking about um, certain things as so much of communication, so much of WhatsApp, so much of Facebook postings and whatnot has been flying around. And, and more and more negativity is what is flying around. This is what I was feeling right? professionally and personally. Too many such things are happening. And I thought all this boiled down to one single thing, which is predominantly communication, right? Um, as part of communication, I thought maybe let me do something and then reflect an action or a reaction or a response that I have been experiencing lately. And probably I'll bring up even uh, one very little nice story of my personal um, space to, to share with you folks. Of course, you, you, you may have read uh, what I have put together and what I've been doing and also what it means communication at a very, very high level. Okay, there are, there are three components that I wanted to touch uh, very briefly and quickly. Communication is, is not just about writing a piece of letter, piece of email, piece of something or saying something to somebody. It does not stop there. It is, it is a two-way action, right? So when you send something, and there should be a response coming back. If, if uh, anyone in this group is an IT savvy person, uh, it's, it's like a message going out and an acknowledgement coming back and that handshake happens, then the, the total communication channel in an network layer is deemed complete, right? So that handshake is very critical in communication. So looking at what are the three components that I want to touch today, the first component is listening. When something is said, or even if it is coming from an email that you are reading, that needs to be consumed. Listening is a fantastic skill whereby you give your presence and make sure that you understand what is being said, what is being written, or what is being given. Once that is done, then the next level is really showing and sharing. If it is a communication happening between two parties, it is better to uh, rephrase whatever that has happened to the other party so that the other party understands that whatever has been said is understood by you. This portion of rephrasing, reframing, and then making sure the, the understanding component has really happened and the, the party who really made those gets the picture that what has been said has been clearly understood, right? Then the last piece or the third part is the whole message that is going out should have a component of um, sensing and feeling that emotional uh, attachment coming into it as part of the communication. So um, talking about this, just a just couple of days back when I was driving my daughter to school, um, she was sharing something that had happened um, between her and her friend. Her friend called and then asked her, hey, I have uh, some thought in my idea, in my mind, and I, I need your uh, uh, help, and I just want to bounce it off with you. And he said, they are in a teen, teen group, and he said, I'm seeing quite a lot of kids in our age group, uh, quite depressed for whatever reason. It can be studies, it can be hormonal changes, it can be um, pressure at home, pressure at school, pressure at uh, the peer level, the, the fellow students and whatnot. 
right? So it's it's a gauge group, and and the fantastic thing that happened was, um, her friend asked her about her opinion. So my daughter kind of uh, looked at me, and then she said, um, "Dad, you know what I said? I told him, um, yeah, why do you want to do it?" Then he started explaining why, and then she was kind of suggesting him. Okay, I hear you, and this is the reason you want to do. Fantastic idea. So she recognized what he said, and she kind of um, rephrased and kind of responded back to him in a different phrase about whatever he said, and got a confirmation from him that she understood it well. And then she jumped next level um, to to ask him why. Why, why depression? Is, is this your interest area or uh, you're going to go as a psychologist, um, counselor kind of a position later? He said, no, not really. I, I just got to know that I am going through something and then I got some help from somebody and then I want to give back. The wonderful thing that has happened in this conversation also is that these teenagers, they were just working on their own. Nothing and nobody has taught or told them to, to really take this action. So the leadership started showing up, right? And then uh, my daughter normally shares all these uh, with me while we are driving, while, while I travel to school. So it happened. And then I said, well, well Dad, uh, you also told me whenever I'm depressed, you, you give me some suggestions, you ask me questions, and all those stuff. But when it happens at, at an age group, um, she's in Gen Z group, right? So at the same age group, it makes a difference, right? Then I looked at, looked at her, I didn't say anything, and she noticed my silence, and then she prompted another question. What do you think? You're not saying anything. I said, well, um, let me just put in that whole overall situation, and then I asked some questions, and I started asking questions about um, what do you think the same age group makes a difference? And then we went on and and on. I'm not going to go bore you with all those details. Um, and and at, at a point, she realized that, yeah, the viewpoints differ from person to person. And I acknowledged saying that in the same age group, you will have a better understanding. And what your friend is trying to do is a wonderful thing. And what you are doing to him as part of really assisting and uh, guiding him. And in this overall con communication and conversation, uh, the final statement made by her friend is that, hey, the way you kind of asked questions and then gave me some suggestions and advice, advices, look like you can be a, you can be my content manager, All right? So the whole co conversation ended up with some actions that, that the two kids took it took took away, right? I was kind of. After this, the conversation, I was kind of thinking, is that happening in, in a professional world? Probably yes, but to what degree? And there was no ego first. And the, the, there was listening ears from both parties. And they were open for suggestion. And they were taking actions towards the end. And both of them were emotionally acknowledging the other party. My daughter appreciated the, the thought and effort. So did her friend appreciating her time, her energy in assisting and even gave her content manager position. Think about it. I'll leave you with that thought and communication makes us wonderful people. Communication is also or can also make us differently not so wonderful which path should we take decision is every one of us that that we need to take on but but the bigger message that i took from that conversation i had with my daughter is that the next generation is indeed getting in the right direction right path and we have to just support them and the future of leadership is shaping up very well so I'm, I'm very happy not talking about whatever crisis and whatnot and fear that we are going through. But I believe um, some of uh, my, my friends here take some takeaways from this that would be wonderful. 
please feel free share your comments share anything that um, i must change as part of uh, your feedback i happy i'm very happy to welcome all those thank you very much have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are happy easter to all stay home stay safe wherever you can help people bye for now